published 0453 EDT, the 30th of October 2017, updated 0626 EDT, the 30th of October 2017. A university student was stabbed to death by her jealous boyfriend after he believed she was having an affair with fashion guru Jimmy Chu. A court heard Natasha Wild, 23, wrote chilling entries in her diary and claimed Lloyd Brackenbury, 32, accused her of cheating on him with a Malaysian designer, Miss Wilde, who had cerebral palsy, claimed he threw her across a room during a violent argument, Manchester Crown Court heard. Her diary, called What It Is Like to Live with Lloyd, also revealed how he made sick taunts about her late sister Hoodie in a house fire. Lloyd Brackenbury stabbed Natasha Wilde pictured after she wrote in her diary that he thought she was cheating on him as Wilde, who had cerebral palsy, claimed he even threw her across a room during a violent row at their home. The diary was entitled What It Is Like to Live With Lloyd and Miss Wilde pictured also revealed how he made sick taunts about her late sister Miss Wilde wrote in her diary He usually examines me to see if I have slept with someone and if we have had a nice day he will purposely ruin it by finding something to start an argument over. He believes I am seemingly trying to kill him he thinks I am part of the mafia. He said he would never hurt me but has picked me up four times and thrown me across the room. The diary entries were discovered after she suffered a fatal knife wound to the neck when Brackenbury attacked her in November last year at the home in Rokal, Greater Manchester. It emerged the victim had discovered she was pregnant with Brackenbury's child during their relationship but she had a secret termination telling her mother Lloyd would kill me if he found out. Brackenbury, a paranoid schizophrenic, was ordered to be detained in a psychiatric hospital after he was found guilty of manslaughter on the grounds of diminished responsibility. He was cleared of murder. The court heard Miss Wilde was in her third year of a college degree at Liverpool Hope University and had been working as a dinner lady at Matthew Moss High School in Rokal to help fund her stuss. She wrote the chilling entries in her diary which included pages about Brackenbury taunting her dead sister Miss Wilde claimed her boyfriend thought she was part of the mafia and that she was cheating on him in June 2005 her brother, Alan Wilde, 9, stepsister Layla, 23, and Layla's 11 month daughter, Courtney Nab, D alongside family friend Cole Ridgway in a house fire caused by an electrical fault involving the tumble dryer. She and Brackenbury, a former forensic science student at Manchester University, met in 2009 and began dating in 2015 and later they moved in together, but in the months before her death, she had been battling to make him take his medication and she began confiding in her mother Susan about Brackenbury's increasingly erratic behaviour. In her diary, Miss Wilde said Lloyd believes I am cheating on him with a man called Jimmy Chu who is a fashion designer. Apparently my dad doesn't pick me up from work but another guy does he says I sleep around. He broke the burglar alarm because he thinks someone is listening into the house. He claims he is only with me because he was tired of sleeping around and wanted the family life. He says he has raped my dead sister and says that when she was burning he poured milk on her to burn more. He usually examines me to see if I have slept with someone. If we have had a nice day he will purposely ruin it by finding something to start an argument over. The couple pictured met in 2009 and started dating each other in 2015. One time I came home with wet pants because I was washing the dog at my parents and to Lloyd this means I have slept with someone and he believes I am seemingly trying to kill him he thinks I am part of the mafia. Last night, on October 8, he was up until 5 a.m. talking to nobody calling me a liar and trying to keep me awake. Apparently he has killed people and he compares me to his exes and prostitutes saying I am boring and ASL. He thinks he has a child called Amy who is seven and he thinks my twitch is a fake even though he knows I have cerebral palsy. He said he would never hurt me but has picked me up four times and thrown me across the room. Her mother told the hearing about a year before, she fell pregnant with his child and had a termination, which Lloyd did and he know about, she hadn't told him because she said oh Lloyd would kill me which I just thought at the time was a passing comment. Their relationship was terrible one day he would be fine and he would seem sweet and I thought he was nice but I began to notice some strange behavior so I told Natasha to keep him at arm's length and be friends instead.
One night she rang me up crying saying that he had accused her of cheating. I asked her to put him on the phone but within a minute she would say it doesn't matter now. She knew of his mental issues and he wasnt taking his medication when he should have been. She said he was really hard work and it was very stressful and that she was trying to get to him to take his medication. I noticed that she had lost a lot of weight and she wasnt eating properly. She looked pale and withdrawn. she wasnt my daughter anymore. When I saw her at the house of Lloyd's mother, Natasha had a mark on her torso area and I was horrified. His mother said she wanted her son to be sectioned and I agreed but they didnt section him. Miss Wilde was stabbed to death after her boyfriend accused her of having an affair with fashion guru Jimmy Choo. She suffered a fatal knife wound to the neck when Brackenbury attacked her in November last year at the home in Rokal. Greater Manchester pictured Brackenbury's mother Linda said Lloyd was diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia at 20 years of age. Prior to this he had no signs of mental health although he was bullied at school so badly that they had to move him. Although he hated school he was bright and achieved good grades and went to university. He developed a fixation with local criminal gangs saying that they were coming to get to him and this seemed to be the start of strange behavior. This was the first instance where we contacted medical professionals to get Lloyd the help he needed. Police said Brackenbury himself dialed 999 after he stabbed Mr. Her left lower neck severing a major artery. She was found on the sofa was taken to hospital but d later. Brackenbury was initially detained under the Mental Health Act but was charged the following March. He denied murder. Sentencing. Judge Patrick Field QC, told him at the time you were suffering with paranoid schizophrenia and this case represents a terrible tragedy for all involved in it not least Natasha's family and her friends. I don't suggest that anyone involved will have forgotten the dignified display from Natasha's mother when she gave evidence in the case. Her loss must be both profound and acute. It is important that we do not lose sight of the fact a young woman D and those she left behind have been significantly affected. Natasha was your girlfriend and she herself was disabled and vulnerable. It was noted in the trial that she documented on her computer what it is like to live with Lloyd where she recorded your belief that she was having an affair with Jimmy Choo and you had been recording his conversations. She also documented that you had been violent to her on occasions. This behavior was said to be symptoms of your underlying illness. I recall the 999 call and this clearly was a cry for help. You said that Natasha had been stabbed but you weren't aware of who did it. A psychiatrist was of the firm view that you had been severely ill for some time and were affected by his illness before, during and after this offence. The emphasis here must be on treatment and not punishment.